Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Donna and I am the Creole Crafter. Today is Thrift Flip Saturday and I have four thrift store flips for you all. So let's get started. Flip number one. I found this beautiful planner or vase. Uh, I guess you can use it for either or. And it's absolutely gorgeous just the way it is. And I, it was priced at $3. And I have some tulips, beautiful tulips from Michaels. They were on sale for 60% off. So I got a good deal on those. And I have some Waverly Chalk paint in the color of Merlot. Now we're going to go over to the paint shop. And we are going to give this beautiful vase a new face. I'm going to paint it with the Merlot paint and I'm going to give it one full coat. And sorry that my big head is in the way. Okay, now that it has been painted and dried, what I'm going to do to it next is I have some rubbing buff in the color of antique gold and the um, raised portion of the vase. I'm going to put the rubbing buff on just the raised portions and I'm going to use a q-tip swab because I don't really like it on my fingers. Um, it doesn't do anything to my skin or anything. It's just that it's so hard to get it off. So I'm going to use a Q-tip swab for that. And I think it came out absolutely beautiful with the rubbing buff on it. And I didn't do anything to the inside because I wanted it to stay that color. And there it is. I think it came out absolutely beautiful. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And those greeneries, the greenery um, picks came from Dollar Tree. Okay, flip number two. And here's what I found. I found a planner or another vase or I mean you can use it for and whatever you like. And it has some raised raised design portions on the front of it with a little knob. Like it was a drawer or something, but I don't think it was a drawer. I think it's just a vase. And I'm gonna spray paint it with some of that color state paint from Walmart and some um, Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss. And I paint, took it outside, painted it, and let it completely dry. I did seal in the paint before I started putting the rubbing buff on, but I'm using my fingertips. I put some gloves on, use my fingertips, and I'm doing a raised portion. And there it is. And I absolutely love this. I think it came out absolutely beautiful. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And like I said, you don't just have to. I think it is a planner, but you don't have to use it for a planner. I won't be using it for a planner. I just put the flowers in it just to style it for the video. And I made a bow and added some pearls just for the styling part. Flip number three. I have a plate. It has uh, beautiful raised flowers, tulips on it. I am going to paint it with Waverly chalk paint. And I have some rub on stickers from Dollar Tree. Okay, I gave it. Actually, I had to give the plate three coats of the paint, and I already took the rubbing buff, and I went around the raised edges, the whole, I want to say, rim of the plate, 
I did the whole thing with the rubbing buff and now I'm going to take one of those rub on stickers, pick one out and rub it on in the center of the plate. And those rubber on stickers also have like little flowers. I'm gonna cut out two of the little gold flowers and also rub those on in the center of the plate. absolutely beautiful leave me a comment and let me know what you think and that plate stand that is on I purchased that at Dollar Tree and those two candle holders of the candles are from a previous DIY a previous video that I did and flip number four and I found this chair and it was absolutely free. They gave it to me. So I'm going to take it in the paint shop and I'm going to give it a couple of coats of this. It's like a sky blue paint. It's paint that I mix myself. I'm sorry I can't remember what two paints I mixed, but I know it was a white and some other type of blue. And um, I had used that paint for something else, and this is what was left over. So I'm gonna do my chair with that. And this chair won't be for sitting. It'll be for my porch, a plant stand for my porch. I am going to sit a live plant on it. And I'm gonna give it two coats. And the reason why I'm working inside with this is because when I got ready to do this chair, the weather got so, so bad. And I had to do some sand into the chair um, because it looked like it had maybe about 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 22, 44 coats of paint on it. So I had to sand it off. And um, I did manage to do that before the weather really got bad. But I had to bring everything inside and do the painting and everything. Well, I have these um, wall stickers from Dollar Tree. Um, I placed some on the top just to give the chair a little character. And I also have these that I'm going to put in the seating part of the chair. Because I think that these wall stickers are beautiful and I like them. And I was kind of debating whether or not to go back with the flowers because it originally had flowers on the chair, but it was like, nah, let me see how this is going to look. And I like the way it came out. Let me take this time to thank all my subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much. You're so deeply appreciated. And thanks to all my new subscribers and welcome to the family. And if you're just stopping by today, Thank you for watching. I'm going to take that uh, Rust-Oleum sealer. I'm, whenever the weather gets good, take it out and seal it. And here's, here's the final reveal. Here's everything. And this is something new that I'm adding to my channel. I will be doing thrift flips every Saturday at 7 p.m. So, um subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell so you'll be notified you won't miss out when i do these thrift flips on saturdays and this i think this chair came out absolutely beautiful leave me a comment guys and let me know what you think of the four thrift flips project
think they all came out beautiful. And I just set that plant on there. Um, just sort of style it because that's what it's going to be. A plant staying outside on my front porch. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget, anything you like in this video, give me a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing so you can become a part of my YouTube family. And if so, don't forget the notification bell. And always, always get lost in what you love. Bye-bye.